let's look at something else. Let's look at, okay, if we have limpers, just look at how that changes here. He isolates this one limper here. And that's no longer 350, of course, but twice the amount to call. Two plus one, two and a half, 450. Two limpers, same scenario. There you go. This guy then isolates these two limpers, and there's a guy behind who decides to cold call. So what's this guy's now pot size raise amount? Well, same thing. Principle remains the same. Twice the previous bet, 11, plus this entire pot, which would be the pot at that moment, which is 14.50, right? So there you go. 11, 14, 50, you guys figured it out. So 25, 50, let's say some crazy guy decides he's just going to call the three bet, not thinking that one of these two guys are going to come over the top, which in Putnam and Omaha is very often going to be the case. Um, whatever. He does make the three bet call. And this guy's four bet raise size now is, again, same principle. Uh, twice previous action plus the current pot which we have at that point at 65.50. So there you go. 116.50 and of course if he's on a 100 big blind uh, effective stack he would only pop it to 100. And you see here that this equity needed equity to break even in the long run decreases because he's not making the full pot size raise. Let's take another example. He thinks he doesn't understand the principle of a pot size raise being the pot plus twice the amount to call let's say he only raises the current pot size of 65.50. So what does that do for equities? Well, now all of a sudden, these two guys only need 23.4% uh, 20, yeah, equity to make that call, i.e., in this case, probably hit a playable flop. And in pot limit Omaha, that's, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have that a lot, especially with rundown, double-suited hands, whatever. And... This is the idea of pot size raising. Not being the, again, I'm just going to say that again because it's a very misunderstood concept. Um, <laughs> in, yeah, in a lot of places you play, it's, it's not the current pot. It's twice the amount to call plus the pot. And that actually, I mean, also post flop, say. Back that up. Okay, we get a 350. One cold caller. This guy then three bets to 15.50. All right, and let's say we get one caller after the fact for 12. All right, the pot then at that point is going to be exactly 36. And when somebody then leads for a pot size bet, it's going to be of course 36 because it is pot, i.e. 36 times twice amount to call, which is zero at that point. And also in that case, the principle holds true. I hope that's clear, guys. Uh, pot size betting, this is very, very important and, yeah, of course, crucial for any pot limit Omaha players out there. But I want to give you guys a shortcut. And this would apply to no limit hold'em. This would apply to anything, yeah, pot limit, whatever. Pretty generally. And this is what I had coined three timing. <laughs> okay? Three timing the previous action is what's meant with that. So what we're going to do here is let's take instead of our pot size formula, pot size bet formula, let's do three times the previous action. What does that come to? Three. Good. Just update this. Okay. I bet three instead of the 350 as I should. That gives this guy 30.7, let's call it 30.8% or 31% equity needed to make that call. Good, that's only, what, 2.23% less than a full pot size bet, or pot size raise, say. Not that big of a difference, quite honestly. <laughs> so, three timing. You know, I'm not going to sit there and think, ah, oh, shit, you know, maybe in the heat of the battle, what's a pot times pot plus two, what am No, that is three time it. Just to make it simple, just keep my life easy and simple. Let's say there's a limper here. Good. Um, if I just three times the bet, 
now these guys are getting 26 percent that is that is a bit of a difference and if there's two limpers of course then they're getting much better odds and so again three times three time it plus one per limper caller whatever so then you'd pop it to five and look it's almost again more or less a pot size bet these guys are all getting 32 uh, percent to make that call so again I hope that's clear guys um, three time it is just a really simple way of looking at most situations so let's say I three time it here for an open raise and this guy behind me three times me good what's my break-even equity 30.7 seven percent hmm it's amazing it's exactly the same as here <laughs> yeah <laughs> precisely because the three time principle gives every player last act before exactly the same equity to make the respective call and I think that's clear for most of you guys um, let's say this guy then three times why not he three times previous action how much equity does this guy need to make that four bet call hmm imagine that 31 percent 31.77 precisely same equity this guy needs to make the three bet call same equity this guy needs to make the two bet call let's see if that holds true for the four bet or the five bet <laughs> of course it does because it's yeah it's mathematically exactly the same so that's a you know, like I said, guys, a really good shortcut um, for you, just in general, especially for you no limit players. With that, when you three time it, you're basically giving your your opponent, the last opponent, to act, yeah, more or less two to one on his money. And yeah, it's more or less a pot size bet without all the funky calculations and just three times whatever happened prior to that plus one per cold caller, say. Um, so good. This case wouldn't be nine anymore. It'd be yes, plus the caller for twelve. If we get a twelve or here, this is no longer going to be just three times the twelve, but it's going to be three times that plus this. And if you wanted to be really exact, then you'd add that two. There you go for fifty. Uh, let's just say we just kind of ignore the open razor and the cold caller again I pop that just to three times the previous action plus one per caller in that case as a four bet and these guys are respectively getting again 31 percent on the money so yeah just three timing I think is a really good principle yeah, it's something you should definitely uh, implement into your game especially on the fly you can do that pretty much any time and for you beginning players you can go with a very simple principle of three. <laughs> Open raise, three times the big blind. Plus one per limp or whatever. Three bet, three times previous action. Works just fine. Plus one per cold caller, say. If not, whatever. Four bet, three times previous action to 27. And you're always giving these guys about, yeah, again, two to one odds, more or less to make that call and they need 30.77 percent equity to break even in the long run and that you know if you're on the flop they're not going to have that in a million years with the flush draw flush draw is only 19 percent equity that they'll have or probability that they'll complete on the next card um, yeah good and you guys have seen all the tables on on the different outs and I won't go into greater detail because we have covered that already in the poker math videos but this, yeah, this again, this pot limit Omaha bet sizing and respective equity calculator is also something uh, that's available to the members of our site. And it's actually in the same workbook, Excel workbook, as the no limit bet sizing calculator.